Hi everybody, it's Miss Gonzalez, and today we're going to continue solving word problems together by using the three reads strategy. The three reads strategy is something we've used in class, and it's also a great way to make sure you know what the problem is about and what you need to figure out. So for today's problems, they're all going to be about start unknown. And what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the three reads by focusing on the first read, which is what is the problem about? So on your first read, we're going to look at the problem and see what it's about. Let's try. Read with me. Anthony has some erasers in his pencil box. His teacher gives him six erasers. Now he has 18 erasers. So what is this problem about? Hmm. Take your time and think. Yes, this problem is about Anthony and his erasers in his pencil box. And we want to figure out how much he started with. Now, the next read, do you remember what the second read is? Think about it. Yes, if you said the second read is about the quantities or the numbers, you are correct. The second read is what are the quantities or numbers in this problem? So let's look over the problem and I'm going to underline or circle the quantities. Anthony has some erasers in his pencil box. His teacher gives him six erasers. Now he has 18 erasers. So I see that my quantities are six and 18, but there's one more quantity that I have not underlined. What is that quantity? And if you saw Ms. Tayabas Kim's video, it is tricky because this quantity is expressed as a word. So look at the problem. What quantity do you see that is expressed as a word? Hmm. If you said some, you are correct. Although this is not a number, this problem is telling us that Anthony has some erasers. Some is this unknown number. It is still a quantity that we are going to figure out. The third and final read, and one of the most important parts of this three read process is, you remember? It is, what is the question in this problem? So what exactly is this problem going to ask us? And I've covered the question up because I want you to try to guess what do you think this problem is going to ask us? So I'm going to read it one more time for our third read and you're going to tell me what is the question for this problem. Ready? Anthony has some erasers in his pencil box. His teacher gives him six erasers. Now he has 18 erasers. What do you think the question is going to be? Let's see. The question is, how many erasers did Anthony have to start in his pencil box? That is what we are wanting to figure out in this problem. Okay? And as you can see, the quantity sum is a quantity that we do not know. He has some erasers in his pencil box. We want to know how many erasers did Anthony start with in his pencil box. So my next step is I want to write a horizontal equation to um, help me see what I would have to figure out for this problem. So, as we mentioned before, we don't know what this quantity is, and that is what we're starting with. So our start is unknown. But then it tells me that teacher gives them six erasers. So that tells me that we're going to add six erasers. Now he has 18 erasers. That lets me know that we're going to end up with 18. So now my horizontal equation is unknown plus 6 equals 18. My next step after writing my horizontal equation is to create a math mountain. So this is step one. Step two is our math mountains. Math mountains, don't forget the math mountain face. And remember, in the math mountain, the largest number goes at the very top. And based on my equation, I know that it's going to be some unknown number 
plus 6. With that information, it's going to help me figure out how to solve for my unknown. And remember, when you're looking at a math mountain, a math mountain can really help you solve that next step. What you do, you're going to start at the top and you're going to follow and go down the mountain. So 18 minus 6 is going to equal your unknown. So I'm going to say that again. 18 minus 6 is going to give us that unknown. Now don't forget, remember to label your tens and your ones when you're doing your vertical equation. So we look at this problem and we see, hmm, can I take away 6 from 8? Yes, you can. 8 minus 6 is, yes, it is 2. Now I go on to my tens, because remember, we always start with the ones. Now I go to the tens place. One minus, and if there's nothing there, that means it's a zero. One minus zero is one. So my answer to this problem is 12, 12 what? Yes, 12 erasers. Make sure you label it, 12 erasers. And then I want to box my answer. So now I know that 12 plus 6 equals 18. And our friend Anthony started with 12 erasers. So that is how you use the three reads um, to be able to figure out what your problem is asking you in order to know how to write that horizontal equation and start figuring out with your math mountain or your vertical equa equation of what that unknown is. Thank you for watching this video and go ahead and go on Seesaw to practice for yourself. Bye!